Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. We are back here on another episode of Let's Build Springfield. Last episode was a little bit shorter. I do apologize for that. I was just very, very busy. So I think the video is only like 16 minutes long. I logged out of the world and look, it's still on here. The chunk must have been unloaded. I thought chunk stayed loaded on a server. I might be wrong. It might work the same and there still has to be a player nearby for it to be loaded. I suppose that'd make sense. But anyway, it's uh, been a couple of days. I think I remember where we were. I've got my image loaded back up of the mall or rail. And uh, let's just catch up to where we were. We've got the bottom floor all in with the windows. Ah, but then I didn't on this side go around with these. You guys enjoyed my story about getting addicted to uh, the Simpsons tapped out game. No, I will not be re-downloading it. A couple of you are saying, AJ... I think you should go back on it. I mean, it's all changed now. You should try again. I'm not. No way. I am not getting addicted like that again. Man, I, I needed therapy. <laughs> it was crazy how addicted to that I was. But at the end, but it was nice, though, to hear from you guys that you also get addicted with those kinds of games as well. In fact, a couple of you were saying, AJ, I'm in the same situation. I'm, I play Tapped Out. And I'm building my, my, my Springfield. I have a huge Springfield. I've got loads of play, lo loads of characters. But I just can't stop. I have to keep going on it. A couple of you were even saying that you go on it while at school. <sighs> Shouldn't be doing that. You'll get, if you get caught, you'll be in trouble. You don't really want to be doing that. In fact, at my school, they had... So yeah, it's nice, nice to know that I'm not the only one that got addicted to Tap Tau. But at my school, they had... A Wi-Fi blocker you couldn't hook up to Wi-Fi the only way that you could get on the internet was through the school computers uh, that were uh, wired in through an Ethernet cable like they no, nothing was wireless at my high school uh, to stop mobiles and stuff hooking up to the internet uh, which is really really annoying not just for me but for teachers and everybody uh, alike uh, but what was oh I can't see my picture damn it <laughs> Damn it! I had a another window covering up my picture. I was like, what do I do now? And then I couldn't see it. Uh, yeah, it was really annoying that the Wi-Fi uh, was blocked in my school. At the end of the day, I do understand why they did it. Um, everybody was always on the internet, so they got this like Wi-Fi blocker in. And they also got a, um, a signal blocker, which basically meant if you were within like... Uh, 100 or 200 meters i don't know how big the area was but if you were within a certain range of this uh this device it would block signal to your phone so you literally couldn't receive a text or make a phone call and obviously it doesn't it, it shouldn't it shouldn't affect you because you shouldn't be on your phone at school however uh, a lot of people made a pretty good argument that if you're trying to call your mum in an emergency or parents or, you know, mum or dad or, or granddad, whoever looks after you in an emergency, uh, you won't be able to get hold of them. And that's pretty true. And and that was always a little bit of a concern for some people. Never really for me. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a crisis big enough at the school that would require me to call my parents. But <laughs> I think I think pupils will argue, you know, and teachers will argue against anything that they don't like. Uh, but the funny thing about it, the reason why I'm telling you this this little uh, story with the Wi-Fi and, and, and calls is I had a friend that literally lived directly opposite my high school, okay? Directly opposite, as in their front door to their house was straight opposite the school's front door, okay? It was like so opposite, you wouldn't even believe. And... Uh, because of the Wi-Fi blocker and the phone and the signal blocker, they literally could not get signal in their own house. How crazy is that? Oh, hiccups! And they ended up actually um, making the school get rid of it because, rightly so, <laughs> you can't just not be able to call in your own house, can you? You you want to be able to phone and call whenever you want in your own house. So yeah, the school actually had to get rid of it because it was blocking those people's uh, wi my friend's Wi-Fi. I found that ever so funny when I found out that they couldn't get Wi-Fi in their own home. Ah, made me so laugh. 
and I tell you a story that my other half, my fiance, told me about. It was in the news. Oh, that looks so cool. My fiance told me about. It was in the news, right? I bet you guys wouldn't won't believe this. I bet you won't believe me when I say that you can be allergic, allergic to Wi-Fi. I'm not joking you. You can be completely allergic to Wi-Fi signals. Okay. Now, basically, if you don't know what allergic is, maybe you're not allergic. I'm not allergic to anything, luckily. Uh, but maybe you don't know what it is. Allergic is when you get a reaction to something that your body doesn't like. For example, a common one is peanuts. A lot of people are allergic to peanuts. And if they have peanuts, they can be... Uh, they can become quite ill uh, for just from having peanuts and uh, they can end up in hospital uh, if they have them if they end up eating them by accident or whatever so uh, if you have like a, um, a cake for example at a birthday party and you don't tell them that it's got nuts in it and they eat it they can actually die they can actually it's that serious and uh, basically, there was this girl who was in the news only a few weeks ago. And uh, she was uh, literally allergic to Wi-Fi. And she was telling her school, because her school had Wi-Fi and her home had Wi-Fi. And she was telling her school, I'm, a, I'm allergic to Wi-Fi. And please, can you take it down? Like, can you turn off Wi-Fi in the school? I'm allergic to it. And the school laughed, you know. As you can sort of understand why, because it's such a weird thing. Allergic to Wi-Fi? It's like, Wi-Fi is invisible. Where did those blocks go? There they are. Um, Wi-Fi is invisible. How can you be allergic to Wi-Fi? Uh, well, it ends up very sad because she was right. She was actually allergic to Wi-Fi. And uh, it ended up giving her... What it was is it ended up giving her really bad headaches. So... Uh, whenever she was in a Wi-Fi zone, she had the most colossal headaches you could ever imagine. And uh, it, it became very, very serious. That looks so cool. It became very, very serious. So serious that I'm sad to say she actually committed suicide. She actually ended her life uh, because it was so painful for her. It was literally so painful for her to be able to do anything uh, that she had no choice she th well, she thought she had no choice. Let's rephrase that. She thought she had no choice uh, apart from to commit suicide, which is very, very sad. And uh, obviously, I bet the school feels terrible. I bet the school feels completely terrible that they were they didn't listen more than anything. Hold on. This isn't in line. That the school didn't listen to her, if anything. Oh, wait a minute. That is in line. How has that worked? Oh, I've gone too far. Whoops! I fell over. I should be on this level. Ooh, no! Like there. So uh, it's a sad story. It's an interesting story though, which is why I bought it up. Although it hasn't got a happy ending and the school turned the Wi-Fi off and everybody lived heavily ever, ever after, it's still a really interesting thing to... I've ne I never heard before that someone can be allergic to literally something invisible. Um, I, I heard a rumor once, now I don't know how correct this is, maybe you guys can do some research for me and let me know exactly sort of some details in the comment section about it, uh, but I heard a rumor that someone was allergic to water, well, ta-da, I heard a rumor that someone was allergic to water, now that might seem a little bit more believable, like you could be like, yeah, you know, I and I can see how you could be allergic to water but one you're made up of water now i don't know too much about it so don't believe everything that i say here because i i really do not know all the details uh, but from what i heard is that they were always allergic to themselves because you're made up of like 90 percent or something 98 percent or something silly like that percent water like you are all water and this person uh, was allergic to it. They couldn't shower, couldn't drink, or anything like that. Now, to me, it sounds a little bit fake. And I think it's fake. I think it's only a story. Because if you 
I'm allergic to water, that would mean that you wouldn't be able to literally drink anything. Any, everything, liquid, pretty much, as far as I know, has water in it. I can't think of a single drink that doesn't have water in it. And obviously, that sort of puts a hole in it. I think it might have been a funny news story, maybe, but it was Like, it might have been partially true. Maybe they were allergic to certain types of water or something like that. Um, but the news sort of blew it out of proportion. And then I did hear that someone was allergic to, um, uh, to air. But again, I think that's a little bit of a porky. I don't think that's quite true. I'm going to do it like that. That's so cool. So you put one in the side, one on the side, and then one in the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. Do I have a... I don't have a white one. I like, I like a white little square. I should get one. That one and that one. Yes. To go right there and right there. Oh, beautiful. Okay, now we have a question to do. Do we do the monorail down the middle? This is called the Morlo Rail. It's an important part to it. But, are we going to add more monorail to it? We probably won't. Let's do it anyway. Let's give it a go. Now, I'm thinking we're going to have to put down... Where would the monorail be? On this one and this one? With a one block garden at the front? Or this one and this one? In fact, I could get those steps smaller. If I take these away. And instead just put these around. Yeah, that's better. That, that, that'll be good. Like that. So I'm going to have to put one line down here for the moment. Whoops, I fell off. And then I'm going to use the... Um, these ones and go down this side and then take away the the cyan blocks and do it the same on the other side and then color them gray because then it gives us this sort of angle bit for the monorail or what would be called the, the mono train are they called mono trains to sit on what would you call the actual vehicle on a monorail mono train it sounds right doesn't it yeah mono mono train yeah, but that's what it would need to, to hook onto. Ooh, daytime. Those look nice at sunset, but I don't think we have enough night. At, like, at dusk, it looks quite nice when it goes more orange. But at nighttime, we don't have enough lights in the place. It looks very it looks very dead, doesn't it? Very zombie -fied. There's some lights in there. Uh, that's with the glowstone you see on the outside. But maybe I should go around and add some more lights. It would look really nice otherwise, uh, if we'd done that. Dawn. There we go. It looked really nice if we had it all lit up. I would love to do some um, uh, street lights as well. If you have street lights going down either side of the road, oh, that would look so so good. And I'm sure we could do it in a way if we use only full vanilla blocks. We use no micro blocks. Oops. If we use no micro blocks and we use no special blocks, we'll be able to copy and paste them anywhere we like. And that would really, really speed up the process. I need some stone. I think we're going to do this. Color this up stone here. Stone, 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 stone. Ah, 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 ah. Now I know this is... Oh, shoot. I know this is going to go down to a single point on the edge here. I, it does look thin, but I don't think you're ever going to really see it from that angle. And we can't make it any bigger. I suppose... Stairs might be better if you used stairs. Hmm. Let's have a look. Um, is that going to bug me? I think it is. I think that is going to bug me. I think what we need to do instead is grab half of this like cut this into a half yeah that'll bug me otherwise because i'll be like it's not right it, it doesn't look right uh if we do that that and then put them on the side so basically we're doing upside down stairs you can see it there there's two upside down stairs but we have the ability to fortunately do them in stone which is the block that we want to do them in if you're making this in vanilla you could so make this building in vanilla by the way guys uh with the arches, you could use stairs. E the stairs might even look better. I don't know. You'd have to, to find out and tell me. Um, but you could easily do this in vanilla. But luckily, with these little uh, 
micro blocks so we, we can actually end up cutting down any block which allows us then to make any block stairs and I think carpenter wedge uh, carpenter blocks have a uh, a stair in them as well if you want to do but they can be a little bit tricky because you can do a, a lot of funny things with those as well you can end up putting like um, like steps on the stairs it's really really weird there uh, there 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 and there and then I've got to do the tricky part here oh this isn't too hard oh this is fine I thought that was gonna be a lot harder than uh, than it actually was just gotta get them down this side and then we'll do the other side and then we'll see what it likes I think that was in the right spot but just on the other side it's like an amazing amazing block placement yeah it was it was perfect and then down here this will look so much better than the uh, uh, what they that the slopes how am I gonna do this maybe do that one then that one and then come around this side can I reach can I reach it yeah there we go there we go there we go ah 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 yeah so much better that looks literally a hundred percent better okay now we've got little tiny fountains at the back end now I have a bucket of water but I don't know how much room we're actually gonna be able to get out of this um, the fountain is meant to be white but I'm gonna do it in a gray just so it stands out a little bit more so we need it to go I want it big enough to be able to see so I think I'm gonna do it like like this it's not even circle though that's the problem but we could do it like that and then have the water in there yeah that'll work uh, I want to do it grey though around the edge just so it stands out a little bit more than, than white would. White wouldn't really, in my opinion, look all that great. Uh, the grey makes it a little bit more of a feature. So we put some water in here. There we go. And there is a little part of the middle. Can I do that somehow? We haven't really got a middle point then. That's the only problem. You know... I would love to have something up the middle. Unless I make this even bigger. No, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't be good. No, I think we've got to leave it like that. I don't think we could do anything. I don't think we could do anything more to it. Again, the limits of Minecraft getting in our way. Uh, hold on. There might be... Like... Uh, it makes the water bend, though, doesn't it? I don't like that. Nope. The limits of Minecraft... Even with micro blocks, there are some things that just can't be done in a perfect way. Oh well. Okay, underneath here. Oop. And there. <laughs> Such a funny noise I made. Oop. No! Oh god. Uh. No! Go away! Did I break anything? Oof. It's fortunate that water doesn't break micro blocks. I thought for a moment that they might. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to do something pretty cool. I'm going to grab this um, uh, grass block, and then I'm going to cut it down maybe to this thin, okay? So it's not hard. It's a quarter block, okay? So it do it's not as thin as what it could be, uh, but it's like smaller than half a block. And if I place this down this way, yes, we end up with a tiny little... Uh, sort of grass, a grass quarter slab. It's smaller than a half slab. And then if we go this way and there, I'm hoping maybe we can get the corners in. To, oops. To make it a little bit more rounded. Yeah. How cool is that? That is so cool. And then there. Yeah, and if you place them upwards, you get like a thin, thin piece of grass. Imagine the terraforming you, you could do with this. If you used micro blocks and spent literally weeks, if not months, on an area, you could terraform it so perfectly. You've got so small levels that you could build up. You could, like, have a perfect representation of Earth if you wanted to and do every single mountain to, like, the right height and have nice curves up. It would be so beautiful. Now, I did get these flowers... Because originally I was planning to use full blocks, 
But I don't think we can put these flowers on top of those mic. No, we can't. That's a little bit of a shame, but I don't think it matters too much. There might be something that we can do at the end, though. There might be something we can do at the end. Okay, and then on the front here, what sort of pattern is this? It has a bush in the middle. It's like... There. There. Hmm. Do we just go like two blocks thick all the way along? That might be the best way to do it. Yeah, I think that probably is the best way to do it. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I was, I was running through my head trying to think of maybe a way that we could do it in a, uh, in a closer way to the picture, but I don't think there is. These micro blocks are good, but they don't work inside that like like you can't make micro blocks or, or put like more than uh i don't know like you couldn't do see that square around there in the middle i couldn't get these little blocks here and and put them in the middle of the block in like a square fashion they can only go on the edge as you can see where they go when i hover over the block like they can't they can't go like in the middle there unfortunately there's still quite a lot of limitations with them so we'll put these down the side Oops. Uh, uh, uh. And then we've got these bushes to go on top. Now these bushes will sink in, which is perfect. So we can do like that one. How many are there? There's five bushes. So that's two. And then we need one in the middle. We do have a perfect middle point. And then we need one perfectly between those two, which I think is there. Am I right? Am I right then? <laughs> uh, hold on. That's like five blocks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that is it's perfect. Perfect. Okay. There goes there, and then perfectly in the middle of these two, I think, is those ones. A uh, rough guess. I think that one. I'm out by half a block. I feel like yeah better okay so we've got those in uh, and now I think we may be able to add some more stuff like if I grab orange wool for example and I cut down this orange wool into the same blocks as we done with those uh, leaves into these little notches I can get they look like carrots I don't know if they are but I think they are carrots but we've got carrots along here, so to keep them even, we're going to have to do them two blocks wide. Oh, and they're on the other side as well. I didn't even see that. There and there. That one and that one. 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 And then if we grab some other blocks, like let's get rid of some of our inventory that we don't need anymore, like these flowers. And we get... Uh, oh, I've got a red. What other colours are there? Uh, pink. And yellow. And that's like the three colours that are sort of flowers here. And we cut these down into the same shape. These little notches. Yeah, notches. There. 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 And then red one as well. That one. That one. And that one. One, two, three. And then we can use these as like little flowers. So we can just dot these around the place. Uh, that one, 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 that one. Yeah, 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 that looks cool. I actually really like that. Maybe another red one there. Just as the little flowers all over the place. And then we'll do some around here as well. There's no bushes on these ones, though. So we'll do something like... Uh, mm, if I put yellow one there, pink one there, pink one, yellow one, yellow one, red one, pink one, no, yellow one, pink one, pink one, yellow one. That looks so cool. Is there anything that we've missed? 
on the picture. Oh, the sign at the front, of course. So we're going to need these ones and I think those ones and maybe these ones. And then we have the sign. It goes, it's actually quite a big, ow, I just hit my toe. I think it goes from like there, which is two blocks in to the red. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, no, stop it there. One, two. And then we'll do it above here as well. So it's going to be, we want quite a big sign on here. What a cool building though. I, don't, I haven't even looked on uh, Google Images at the expansions for this building. But I think this could actually get quite big. There's a lot of potential with it for sure. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go around the edge with these blocks. And it'll give us a really cool 3D looking sign. That, that, nope, that one, okay, is, is there anything else, can you guys see anything on the picture that I missed, apart from text, obviously we can't do text, uh, but anything apart from text that, that we've missed here, maybe a little bit of a floor down, oops, oh I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to get packed ice, I'm going to put pack. I'm going to get packed ice, I'm going to put packed ice behind the door here, like that, just so it, we can't see through it, like this, and it still sort of looks like the glass, and then maybe grab some stone here for the the ground, and we'll go inside with stone as well, I don't want a transition block change, there we go, oh that looks good, that looks good. All right, anything that we've missed, there's a little plant pot here. I think what we can do is, because we're not going to be able to get a plant pot in, I can instead do like a little three high bush. Or maybe with uh, a two high bush with a red one on top, or maybe just one blue and one, uh, one green and one red. Yeah, that's good. That looks good. Okay, nothing else. I don't think there's anything that else that I've missed. There's a white strip runs along here. That I want to do. That one. That one. And that one. There we go. And I think that's it. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We should see you in the next episode.